spill plenty of meat on that bone. Now you take this home, throw it in a pot, add some broth, a potato, baby, you got a stew going. Now the story of our favorite moments and the one video that had no choice but to keep them all together. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 arrested development running gags. Hey! Solid as a rock! Number 10, Les Cousins Dangereux. Hey, do you remember that French movie we tried to sneak into once? You know, Dangerous Cousins? I don't, I don't remember that. No. George well, Michael little, remembered maybe. very well. In fact, he oh, currently had a copy oh. of the DVD hidden in his Is sock drawer. You? Kind of. Why do you ask? After a longtime crush on his cousin, maybe, George Michael gets his first glimmer of hope that they really could pursue an illicit relationship. It was a love between two cousins that the world thought was wrong, but it was the world that was wrong. Giving him a lasting reverence of the French. I like the way they think. Number nine, do you believe in magic? Do you want a cage for that? No, I'm a magician. What is your return policy, by the way? As a magician, Job is always attempting various spectacular tricks, or rather, illusions. Whether it's a grand scheme to make a yacht disappear, or an attempt to be buried alive, poor Job never seems to catch a break. Or remember which arm has the pennies and which arm has the lighter fluid. Hey! Fire! Car troubles? But still, where did the lighter fluid come from? Number 8. Peanuts Drop-Ins Of the many pop culture references scattered through this series, it's the repeated use of Vince Guaraldi's Christmas Time is Here from A Charlie Brown Christmas that is our favorite. George Michael, meanwhile, had just been broken up with by his first girlfriend and was on his way home. Ironically, the insertion of these cartoon-inspired moments injects a little humanity into this relentlessly irreverent series. Hey, where the f*** are my hard-boiled eggs? Number seven. Who? And who? She's got a little hard-boiled egg going there. Oh, it's so cute. She sometimes takes a little pack of mayonnaise and she'll squirt it in her mouth all over, and then she'll take an egg and kind of... <laughs> she calls it a mayonnaise egg. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't feel so good. Michael simply can't hide his ambivalence toward his son's first girlfriend, Bland. I haven't met him. Yes, you have. Michael had met Anne. Let her in. In fact, not one member of the Bluth family seems to understand just what George Michael sees in Plant. Her? 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 Is she funny or something? Don't, don't worry about it. Number six, the literal doctor. Oh, this guy again. Next up is the doctor with the atrocious bedside manner. How's my son? He's going to be all right. Oh, oh thank God. Finally, some good news There's from no this There's no other guy. way to take that. That's a great attitude. I gotta tell you, if I was getting this news, I don't know that I'd take it this well. But. You said he was all right. Yes, he's lost his left hand, so he's going to be all right. You son of a Get bitch! This I hate this on, doctor! He's a very literal man. The literal doctor, as fans later dubbed him, has a nasty habit of employing the euphemistic, well, literally. Coming from him, even good news can be harrowing. How is he, doctor? It uh, looks like he's dead. Oh my god! Just to be clear, it, it looks like he's dead or he is dead? It just looks like he's dead. He's got, like, blue paint on him or something. But he's going to be fine. What is wrong with you? This doctor! Number five, more than just a screw loose. I don't want no part of your tight-ass country club, you freak bitch! As we all know, Buster has issues with his mother, Lucille. No, mother. Yes, mother. Mother. Sister's my new mother, mother. It seems that the harder he tries to get away, the more he's pulled back in. Oh, you're so brilliant. Even when he's in the arms of another woman. I'm leaving my mother for you. You're replacing my mother. Or frolicking in the ocean for the very first time, there's always a Lucille close at hand. Watch out for Lucille! I don't care about Lucille! Stay alive! And then a seal bites off his hand. Number four. J. Walter Weatherman. Yeah, the man who used to scare us as children and one time as an adult. What better way to teach your kids life lessons, like the importance of leaving a note, than to capitalize on the natural attribute of your one-armed ex-employee? That's why you always leave a note. 
J. Walter Weatherman could just be the most effective parenting tool ever conceived. That's why you don't yell. <laughs> Number three, trapped in the closet. You're gay. No, no. I'm not, I'm not gay. No, Lindsay, how many times must we have this? As Tobias Funke explains in his wildly successful book, there is a man inside him dying to get out. And while he may think he's got it under control, the world's only anaurapist makes innumerable Freudian slips that reveal just how deep in the closet he is. I'm afraid I just blew myself. Did I prematurely shot my wad? Well, I see you wasted no time in filling my seat hole. Even if it means me taking a chubby, I will suck it up. I wouldn't mind kissing that man between the cheeks. Right, I have something of a mess on my hands. It's just there's so many poorly chosen words in that sentence. Number two, the chicken dance? You gonna get off and do your little dance too? No, I, I hurt my ankle yesterday shooting hoops or something. Go, 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 go. Job's go-to taunt comes in the form of an utterly bizarre and ill-informed chicken impersonation. While biologically inaccurate, it nonetheless proves an effective way of taunting his younger brothers. Chickens don't clap! But the real payoff for this running gag is when the whole Bluth clan gets in on the action. Look, I haven't found the right girl. When I do, I will ask her out. Has anyone in this family ever even seen a chicken? Number one, the very real condition of the never nude. He's a never nude. Is that exactly what it sounds like? And taking our top spot as the best recurring gag on Arrested Development... Tobias suffered a rare psychological affliction of never being able to be completely naked. Excuse me, do these effectively hide my thunder? Tobias's phobia of being naked, ever, even in the shower, proves to be a rich comic well that Mitchell Hurwitz and his writer's room often return to. I mean, this is a real affliction. I, you know, I'm sorry it's not recognized here in the States, but I know for a fact that there are two members of German Parliament. They're called Nein Vostandig Nude. Do you agree with our list, or do you think we've made a huge mistake? For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, come on!